An angel came to me in a vision last night and told me that I must pass on this message. God is going to punish you. He will send you to hell. When you're trying to become a successful internet troll, typically speaking, your goal is to bait and trigger as many people online as humanly possible. You want victims of your trolling antics to be furiously typing essay-length comments and creating long-winded video responses discussing just how stupid they think you are. And that said, in 2011, a mischievous YouTuber known as Tam Tam Pamela would find herself on the receiving end of these comments and video responses. God punished Haiti because they made a deal with the devil, with Satan himself. Throughout 2010 and 2011, Tam Tam Pamela uploaded a series of hyper-religious Christian rantings to her channel, ones that often mocked atheists and called non-believers foolish and heretics. If God doesn't exist, who wrote the Bible? Because she was always bashing atheists, which are typically sensitive online, she got a lot of hate and derision on this channel. But what few at the time considered was that they were getting played by a crafty troll. A troll that might have been too effective for her own good. Today I'd like to tell you all the story of Tam Tam Pamela, the obscure YouTuber who trolled the community so hard that she had to leave the platform. I want to give a big shout out to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video. Surfshark is a VPN app that works across all of your devices protecting your IP and data. With Surfshark, your online browsing activity is protected from internet service providers, advertisers, and hackers. And not only does Surfshark keep you anonymous online, it allows you to change your server location to practically anywhere in the world. Want to watch a show or movie exclusive to Canadian Netflix but you're located in the United States like me? Simply change to a Canadian Canadian server and watch to your heart's content. You guys can get Surfshark 83% off with three additional months free by clicking the link in the description box and using code WAVY at checkout. Big shout out to Surfshark for sponsoring, now let's get into the story. Before we dive into Tam Tam Pamela and her religious rantings, you first need to refamiliarize yourself with the 7.0 magnitude earthquake that hit Haiti back in 2010. Trust me, it'll make sense in a second. This earthquake event was one of the worst natural disasters in history and is thought to have led to the deaths of over 250,000 people. And not only do you need to be familiar with that, you also need to re-familiarize yourself with Christian fundamentalist and tele-evangelist Pat Robertson. If people have AIDS, you gotta be careful. I mean, the towels can have AIDS. Around the time of the Haiti disaster, Pat Robertson found himself in hot water when in a series of interviews he expressed that he felt the Haiti disaster may have been a blessing in disguise, also claiming that the Haitian people had once signed a deal with the devil and that's why their nation was often met with misfortune. Pat, this is a, this is a, a, a calamity of uh, cataclysmic proportions. Uh, it may be a, a blessing in disguise. Some, there might be a massive rebuilding of that country. Is that possible? Something happened a long time ago in Haiti, and uh, people might not want to talk about it. They got together and swore a pact to the devil. They said, we will serve you if you'll get us free from the French. And so the devil said, okay, it's a deal. And uh, they need to have, and we need to pray for them, a great turning to God. And out of this tragedy, I'm optimistic something good may come. Pat Robertson's comments were not only really stupid, they were extremely insensitive to the tragedy that had occurred, and because of this nuclear take on the Haiti situation, everyone hated Pat just a little bit more than they already did. Fundamentalist Christians were not all too popular at this time, which brings us to Tam Tam Pamela. Tam Tam Pamela, or Pamela as I'll call her for the sake of brevity, created her YouTube channel in June of 2008. Not much was known about her at this time as the account had remained mostly dormant after its creation. But in 2010, around the time of Pat Robertson's Haiti comments, Pamela saw an opportunity and the account suddenly became active. Pamela would fire up her camera and introduce herself to the YouTube community. And in her first video, not only did she co-sign the words of Pat Robertson, she came across as a callous Christian fanatic. The video was called God Hates Haiti. Everyone should listen to Pat Robertson because he's telling the truth. God told him that he's punishing Haiti. God has already punished one country, 
by killing so many people because they're sinful and evil and demonic. I want this to be a wake-up call. And it's not just me who wants this. God wants this too. Pat Robertson wants this too to be a wake-up call to everyone living in the United States that you guys need to turn from your sinful, evil ways. And you guys need to ask God to forgive you. Because if not, he's going to have to punish our country the way you punished Haiti. And he's just going to have to kill everybody. The incendiary title of this video and her support of Pat Robertson got people in the YouTube community riled up and they would quickly flock to this comment section to express their hate towards this woman for what she was saying. You are the most delirious person I've ever encountered. Oh, well if Pat Robertson says it, then it must be true. I'm astounded by how little some people actually think for themselves. People like her is why I stopped going to church. Seemingly emboldened by the negative attention, Tam Tam Pamela would continue to upload these provocative videos throughout 2010. Many of the videos targeted atheists with laughably bad criticisms that rustled the jimmies of many online. I just had the stupidest argument ever with the stupidest atheist ever. We were having a conversation about knowing that God exists. So basically my stance was I believe that God exists and that he's real. And then he was like, well, how could you possibly know? And I was like, well, it's in the Bible. Duh. You do not want to face the facts, to face the truth that the Bible is true, that God is real, that he does exist. <sighs> Atheists. Pamela played into the negativity and didn't seem to relent no matter how high the hate threshold got. In fact, she would double down and fully embraced her crazy Christian chick persona, often in comically ridiculous fashions. For an example of this, you only have to take a look at her channel's About Me section, which she filled with religious-themed quotes and other strange anecdotes. Occupation, spreading the word to all who will listen. Hobbies, reading the Bible, praying, fasting, worshiping God Almighty with every breath I take. Books she's interested in? The Bible. And some quotes. If you're not a born-again Christian, you're a failure as a human being. Jerry Falwell. Women have babies and men provide the support. If you don't like the way we're made, you've got to take it up with God. Phyllis Schlafly. And her favorite quote of all time, I don't know that atheists should be considered citizens, nor should they be considered patriots. This is one nation, under God. And that's from President George Bush, August 27th, 1988. And she adds, that pretty much sums it up, who I am and where I stand on everything. Now, looking at this bio and this channel in general, with hindsight as our ally, it's pretty easy to detect some satire here. It was just too over the top, too good to be true, something's fishy. At the time though, from a 2010 YouTube viewer's perspective, it was really hard to determine if Pamela actually was this crazy Christian chick or was she just some kind of really elaborate internet troll. Most would assume it was the first case and would become progressively more enraged with every video that she uploaded. God is real, that he is a just God, a God who will punish, a God who is vengeful, who will smite down with his wrath, and that if you forsake him, if you leave him even for just a moment, your soul will be forever lost. Urgent need for a psychiatrist before she actually hurts someone, she's having hallucinations. Eventually, though, in Pamela's quest to outrage, well, everyone on the internet, she would bite off more than she could chew, making a video that was so insensitive, so repugnant, that it pretty much ended her trolling career. This video that I'm about to show you guys, not only did the YouTube community want her head for it, the media wanted her head for it too. This video was titled, God is Good. And it was uploaded in March of 2011, right around the time of the Japanese earthquake and tsunami that took the lives of thousands and ultimately led to the Fukushima nuclear disaster. And considering Pamela's track record with exploiting earthquake disasters on her channel, I think you kind of know where this is going. In Pamela's God is Good video, she seems to outrageously suggest that this disaster was God's retribution an act of punishment placed on the Japanese people for not being followers of Christ. God is such an amazing God. He is so good and so loving. And it's amazing to see how fast God answers prayer sometimes. 
on Wednesday at the start of Lent, believers all over the world came together and we have been praying specifically for God to open the eyes of atheists all over the world. Literally in every corner, in every direction, any place that there is an atheist, we've been praying for God to open their eyes and to see that there really is a God, that he does exist, that he loves them. Not even a few days later, God shook the country of Japan. He literally grabbed the country by the shoulders and said, hey, look, I'm here. Oh, it's just so amazing to see how God can just answer prayers like this. And I am just so overjoyed and so encouraged for the rest of this Lentil season, I'm gonna be praying even harder than I have ever before. Be encouraged, my brothers and sisters. God does answer prayers. Look at Japan. That is a direct answer to our prayers. Japan is a fantastic place to start. But I mean, once he hits Europe, once he hits America, it's just going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. And people, you better be ready because by the time Easter comes, every person will know that God is real. Uploading this only days after the Japanese earthquake disaster, Pamela would be met with her biggest wave of backlash thus far. Thousands of commenters poured in. This makes me sad to see someone so pathetic. It just makes you lose confidence in mankind. She has closed the door for her to go to heaven. This girl is scary crazy. I'm speechless. Is she not sympathetic at all towards victims getting killed in the tragedy? Only in America. For the many people who had dealt with Pamela's crazy ramblings for close to a year, this was the last straw. People finally decided to take action against her, with dozens uploading videos of their own responding expressing their outrage. There was a YouTube community war being raged against Tam Tam Pamela. Tam Tam Pamela, if you're watching this, you really have to be the, the worst person. How are you excited that hundreds and thousands of people died in Japan and and you supposed to be a Christian. What, by, am I reading the wrong Bible here? Like, what? You are an absolute whack job. It's people like you that create atheists. People who take the Bible completely out of context or don't even read it at all. You have no idea what you're talking about and I cannot believe that you are happy about the death of innocent little babies being crushed in the rubble falling on top of them. Pamela's video caused such an uproar that not only were YouTubers denouncing it, online culture sites were too. The collective online community had their metaphorical pitchforks and torches in hand and they weren't gonna stop going after her until Pamela left the fucking internet. Some would even take this protesting to the real world. It's been alleged that users of 4chan's b-board use their collective mind to unearth Pamela's home address and deliver pizzas to it en masse. This is a classic tactic used by 4chan to harass their enemies. Pamela had been antagonizing the YouTube community with her videos for close to a year now, and by this point, the hatred, well, it just reached a tipping point. The pressure was becoming too much to handle, and with the walls closing in around her, she decided to throw in the towel. She made a video admitting she was a troll. Turns out Pamela was indeed screwing with everyone and this was all just a big act. She wasn't a religious person at all and she only used the persona to satirize fundamentalist Christians and rage bait people on the internet. This is the video where she comes clean. Hey guys, it's Pamela. <clears throat> um, I've been making troll videos for a while now, but this last one seems to have uh, pissed off a lot of people, which was my intention, but <laughs> at this point I'm kind of tired of pizza, so uh, I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag. Come and clean. It was fun, guys. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see ya. Pamela's troll reveal video was met with overwhelming dislikes, likely from people who got trolled or didn't appreciate the satire. Though there were some in the comments that actually gave a nod to Pamela for her dedication to the act. I say kudos because clearly most of you missed the point by a bazillion miles. She was demonstrating the mindless religious fervor that exists out here, that never subjects itself to reason or science. I actually thought it was rather clever and well thought out. 
It took a lot of balls to do that. Pamela is a strange case, because usually when it's revealed that someone pulled off a successful trolling campaign of this size, well, they become an internet legend for simply making something like that happen. You know, guys like Copper Cab and Chad Warden all did something like this and are internet legends for certain. But that never really happened with Tam Tam Pamela. She was still unanimously disliked after her troll reveal. And I think I have a bit of an explanation for why that is. It could be for a variety of reasons, honestly, but I think it simply has to do with the extremely sensitive nature of what she talked about and how she went about trolling people, notably the exploitation of human tragedies part of it. Yes, her videos were satirizing Christian wackos like Pat Robertson, but sometimes no matter the context, the joke will just get you in trouble if it's about a recent tragedy. For example, imagine if a well-respected comedian like Dave Chappelle made a 9-11 joke the day after it happened. I don't think I could sit here and tell you with a straight face that he would be able to pull it off. And that's Dave Chappelle. This is Tam Tam Pamela, the random internet troll we're talking about. I think after the reveal, most understood that it was satire, but they just felt like she took it too far. Anyways, with this reveal video, Pamela's trolling days were over, and about 48 hours after coming clean, her channel was disabled, marking the end of Tam Tam Pamela on YouTube. Following the collapse of Pamela's trolling empire on YouTube, she would actually do a brief interview with The Atlantic and do a bit of reflecting on what she did and why she did it. This is gonna make me sound like a really bad person, but I was kind of excited that all these people were angry because I am a troll and I enjoy getting a reaction out of people. In my defense, if I'm able to show people that this is how some people think and it's wrong, I think it's a pretty effective way of doing that. People have made light of the Crusades, World War I and World War II, and all the different wars and revolutions throughout history. Whether they should or shouldn't is not my place to say. After retiring from trolling in 2011, Pamela would post to a Twitter account over the next few years. And these tweets don't portray a crazy Christian at all, rather she seemed like a mostly normal woman. Her last tweet was in April of 2017, signing off with what feels like a callback to her old trollish ways. She says, Jesus loves at real Donald Trump, hashtag MAGA. And after that, Pamela would disappear. Though now gone, her legacy of trolling can be seen within the deeper reaches of YouTube. When searching her name, you'll see a war zone of response videos from people she pissed off back in the day. It was indeed impressive, the amount of outrage that she managed to cultivate. While she was controversial, her dedication to the act was undeniable, and in my opinion, Pamela pulled off one of the biggest trolling efforts in YouTube history. And that, my friends, was the story of Tam Tam Pamela, the Christian YouTube troll. If you guys want to watch another video about an old school YouTube troll, check out my video about Chad Warden. He really fooled people with his PS3 videos. But make sure you guys let me know what you thought about the video down below in the comment section. Like the video, sub the video, and let me know who you want me to talk about next. I want to give a major shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace.